welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a what's in my makeup kit uh, video and so let's get into it okay so here is my makeup kit I have a lot of things in here but funny enough I don't really wear makeup like that but I recently just bought like some new products like new eyeshadows and stuff because I kind of want to start filming more makeup tutorials because I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more into makeup nowadays. So yeah. So first things first, I have this uh, little, I don't know what you call it. Like, okay, it's called a scrub. Basically, it's for cleaning up your makeup brushes. So yeah, there's that. I have a makeup brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is. Usually I just use this to apply powder all over my face or like contour powder if I contour. I have a foundation brush by e.l.f. It's actually a blending brush, but I use it for foundation. Look at that. Like I have to wash it. How am I embarrassing? <laughs> um, I have my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, which I also need to wash. Look at that concealer on it foundation which i just put on today um i have my estee lauder double wear setting powder and in case you're curious what color i am i am a 5n 1.5 the color maple in the powder i also have the Essay Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, and for this one, I'm the color 5N2 Amber Honey. Um, I have the NYX Professional Makeup Butter Gloss. And that's what I'm actually wearing right now. It is the color Angel Food Cake Gato des Anges or BLG. 15 okay i have a the l'oreal paris 24 hour foundation by in, infallible the total coverage i actually use this to conceal or clean up my eyebrows because it's a little too light for my skin so yeah that's what i use it for i have the nyx professional makeup three steps to sculpt sculpting palette I like the, um, I actually got this for the color for like the contour shade, like to contour my face. Um, so yeah, I don't use like anything else on here. I might start using like this here, like to highlight my face, but yeah. I have Maybelline, like the Maybelline, like dark brown eyeshadow i actually need to get a new one clearly because it's cracked yeah and i use that to fill in my eyebrows i have the maybelline oh see i got that powder on my nail i have the maybelline uh, master fix by face studio it's the setting spray i swear by this I have some lashes, Kiss lashes. I actually tried one of them on uh, just to see how it looked. Um, it's their, what is it? Tapered End Technology. It's the Ritzy Natural Black one. Yeah. On the Real Techniques sponge package, which I need to throw away. <laughs> um. I have my EOS lip balm, which I use every single day. I have my, okay, like an eyeshadow brush, my eyebrow brush that I use to fill in my eyebrows. Get all these, get all these brushes out of here. <laughs> yeah, I have a few brushes in here. So I have like a few eyeshadow brushes oh i dropped one brush so a few eyeshadow brushes here let me get this other brush i dropped i have a few face brushes uh so i use this to 
contour like I use it to apply like the cream contour and on my face and a couple other brushes that I use for whatever I feel like using them for <laughs> I have the NYX can't stop won't stop uh, concealer and it's the shade Golden Honey. I feel like this is literally the perfect shade for my concealer because it has like a warm undertone and I have a warm undertone so I feel like this is literally perfect. Um, I also have another concealer by Sephora. It's their Creme Caramel number 13. It's Bright Future. I used to wear this, but I felt like it was a little too pale for my skin, so just a little bit too light. I don't like it when I wear um, concealer and I look like a completely different person. No, like, ugh, not going for that look. <laughs> I have the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder, the banana powder. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how it is i do plan on using it at some point i usually use this though um okay i guess the yeah the laura mercier setting powder is the translucent setting powder it's really good i love this this is like their little travel package i got at sephora so yeah um i have like a little flower sponge wedge like one left in here this is uh, like really great when you want to like just apply concealer and you know that way you don't have to use the same sponge as like the one you put foundation on but yeah it's literally perfect for applying concealer i have ooh, the l'oreal true match super blendable blush again also in the perfect shade for my skin tone it is the color c78 spice plum yeah it has like a obviously like a mirror let me show you guys it has like a little tiny mirror what i love the most about it is it has like a little tiny brush you can use to apply so yeah i love that i have some eyelash glue when i actually got this i didn't know it was black though i don't really like the fact that it's black but anyways i don't really wear lashes like that that's another thing i'm trying to do more wear lashes you know i, I kind of want to be a little bit more glam i feel like i'm always so basic like i always have like a little foundation there you know with my eyebrows done and that's it if i really want to do it up i'll put on mascara and some lipstick maybe just maybe so i kind of want to do a little bit more so but yeah definitely not feeling the black glue uh for some reason i have some nail polish in here it's the essie nail polish i was intending i intended to paint my toes with this when i got my nails done over the weekend but i forgot so just kind of stayed in my makeup kit and it's the color 214 cascade pool I had some Ardell Faux Mink Lashes I wore this weekend. They were actually really nice. Um, they were like natural-ish looking, but still like full. Um, I still have a little package because I actually threw them away. Yeah. Anyway, I have the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette. You know, when I got this and I swatched it on my, like, on my hand, I thought it was, like, super pigmented, but then when I applied it on my lids, I felt like the colors were not really that pigmented, but, um, I found that you just gotta apply concealer on your eyelid and then just kind of, like, pack on the color if you really want it to pop, but as far as, like, the quality of the color, I don't know, I just feel like it's not really as pigmented as I would have liked it to be, um, but yeah but do look forward to seeing more makeup tutorials from me because like that's one of the reasons why i got this because like i really want to film film more makeup tutorials and stuff because i just feel like i'm starting to like be more interested in like wearing makeup and doing eyeshadow looks and stuff so yeah and i think i'm actually pretty good at applying eyeshadow but you guys will be the judge of that <laughs> 
Um, I also got the same palette, but it's a uh, in the nude, like the nude palette. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I had like some Ardell Wispies lashes. Don't know what happened to them. Probably threw them away. Yeah. Still got the package. Oh no, it's the same thing as this. Never mind. I had some Huda Beauty lashes that came with like some hair I got once. I tried them, didn't like them. Mm -mm. They look kind of plasticky. Yeah. Tiny little plastic thingy <laughs> for lashes. I have the Infallible Pro Matte Setting Powder in the color Coco. I got this because I thought I would be able to use it as like a nice contour shade, but it didn't show up as much, so which is why I got that like the NYX cream palette. But I like to set that uh, cream with this since it is a little bit darker than my skin tone. I have a couple things here. I have a dark brown pencil. I usually use this to line my lips when I'm applying lipstick. Um, and I also have a brow artist, the brow artist thingy. I've never really tried. I don't know. I got this as a gift from my mom, but I never tried it. Maybe one day I'll try it. Let's see. I have mascara, Maybelline Colossal Big Shot mascara. And I always get the darkest black, but I don't think it says anything here. But yeah, love this. I have some, what is this? What color is this? Oh yeah, it's a brown lipstick. I got this brown lipstick, yeah. It's 785 Chocoholic Bold by which brand? Maybelline. <laughs> Yeah, it's by Maybelline. I bought this because I couldn't find like a cream uh, lip liner. So I was like, you know what? Let me get a, you know, dark brown lipstick. That would work. So yeah. I actually got it because I wanted to combine it with my lip gloss. Kind of have like that dark, you know, like the dark, like an ombre, I guess, effect. But with like a nice pink lip gloss. You know what I'm saying? I'll do that look for you guys one day. One of these days. I have some eyeliner, which I hardly ever use. Um, it's the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner, Liquid Eyeliner. Yeah. I have a couple of lipsticks here. Oops. This is Bordeaux, color 124, Bordeaux by, I believe it's, yeah, Rimmel, Rimmel London. Um, like this I don't yeah um I have this okay yeah I have this butter cream I guess lipstick I think I'll try it one day but with like the brown like I try to line my lips with the brown pencil or like the brown lipstick and see how it looks because I've always been kind of scared to try like those light pink colors because I felt like it wouldn't really look that great on my skin tone but I think I've seen I mean some people doing those kind of looks so I'll try it I'll try it one of these days I hope you guys enjoyed this video I didn't know what to film but I thought like a makeup kit video would be fun and also kind of like introductory to what i'm going to be bringing to my channel in the future so i do want to do more makeup tutorials on here like i said i'm just getting more into makeup i kind of want to be a little bit more glam you know yeah so i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you share my video with your friends and if you're not already subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're doing but you need to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.